check that body. Get, get, get down. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're going to continue looking at the Nectar Panorama P1. And basically this time what I'm going to do is show you how to create some macros in your door that we can use uh, within the Nectar. Um, really, really useful. It means basically we can have some real complex macros controlling all sorts in your door. And one press of a button will do all of these different tasks for you. Let's first of all have a look. I'm just going to bring up this image. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign macros to these buttons. I've already done a few, but what we're going to do, I'll just show you a couple, possibly, on uh, the first couple of buttons. Let's go into Cubase, and we're going to go to File, Key Commands, and basically show macros. Now, I've got a couple that I've done already. Uh, I've got a minus 6 dB audio uh, decrease. Basically what we'll do is we'll do an audio increase of 6 dB. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to audio. Let's have a look. Audio increment volume um, is basically control plus alt and the plus and equals button. And that increases the volume by one dB. So what we're going to do is create a macro for this within uh, our Nectar. And basically, let's get started. So first of all, I need to go to Instrument. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the Control Edit button. And you can see there now there's like a message type. There is a little keyboard. So what we'll do, we'll press our first button. And you can see there that now is highlighted and the macro basically is NOP3F06, which basically means there's nothing assigned to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the little keyboard and there you go. It opens up our macro editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to create new and we'll call this Ink Audio 6 DB. And what we're going to do is learn and we'll press Control, Alt, and Plus. Control, Alt, Plus. And we're gonna do that six times. So there you go. So we've got that six times now. And what we'll do, we'll just click Done. Click OK. And you can see there instantly it changed our macro from NOP3F06, whatever it was, to increase audio 6 dB. And it basically is that simple. So let's just save that. So I'm going to press the setup button, save. So I'll press enter and I'm going to click save and I'm definitely going to overwrite. Okay, so now press the instrument button and now that I'm in Cubase, I'm going to select an audio event and I'm going to press our first button and there you go, it increased by 6 dB. So let's just zoom in a little bit. I'll press it again, 6 dB, and again, 6 dB. So let's select another one, press it once, 6 dB, 6 dB, 6 dB. So a real quick way of creating some pretty complex macros. I know that was pretty straightforward. All we did was copy and paste different things. So let's do another one. So I'm going to press Control Edit, and I'm going to press the next button which is chord pads, I've previously signed that to. I'm going to press the keyboard button again and our macro editor pops up. Now I'm going to go to Cubase and go to File, Key Commands and Show Macros and I've got one here, Export Audio. Now what this does, you can see, first of all it selects all then it goes transport locators to selection. Then it zooms into locators, edit, select none, and file export audio mix down. So what we're going to do is do the same macro in our nectar. So let me just open up the macro 
and export audio I've set to control alt and E okay so let's open up basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the instructions so edit we've got select all so let me just find that first which is control and A so let's go into our macro editor and we'll click new and we'll call this export audio I'll call it full because basically this will export your full track so learn and the first one is control plus a so let's press that done it automatically goes down to our keystroke number two which is transport locates to selection so let's go to transport and locators to selection which is P so I'll press go into our key editor press P then we've got zoom zoom to locators again scroll down go to zoom and zoom to locators which is control and L so let's put that in control L okay then our next step is edit select none Go back up to edit, find select none, and uh, select all, and uh, select none is control plus shift plus A, so control plus shift plus A, and then our final one is file, export, audio mix down. So let's go to file. export audio mix down which is control and w control w okay so press done press ok and you can see our screen changed again our macro to export audio so i'm going to again save it so i'll press setup it's already on save so i'll press enter press the save button and i'm going to overwrite the existing location so click yes and now let's close that down and just press instrument to make sure and now if I click my second button on my nectar basically what it did there was it selected left and right locators to the start let me move that out of the way to the full start and end point of my track and let me just zoom in you see I've got other information up here so let's just make that a little bit smaller so we can see so I should maybe put another step in there where it zooms everything in so it fits on the screen. Um, so there you go. You can see there it's now selected left and right locators. It's opened up my audio mix down screen and I can just type in a name and click save. So it's done all of that with one button press. So you can see uh, putting macros into your Panorama P1, you, you know, there might be some major macros that are quite complex that you can have you know along these eight buttons or other buttons as well and makes life so much easier i mean macros don't get used enough i've only really recently started using some complex macros myself and you can see there it's just one press of a button instead of normally going to let me close that down instead of moving your left and right locators so let's say you you know you zoomed in you zoomed in here and it's like that and maybe down here and your left and right locators are on these so normally what you'd have to do is kind of zoom in and then you'd you know move your left and right locators by hand all the way across to the end of your track and then you go to file export audio mix down whereas now I can just press a button does it all for me so definitely worth doing again the nectar is so super simple to program now one thing i must say is when it comes to uh, removing these files it's not quite as easy so if you wanted to let's say get rid of that export audio thing that we've just done in nectar what you need to do is go to your c drive users studio or name of your computer app data which may be hidden 
So again, you need to go into your settings uh, within Windows or your Mac. Find App Data, go into Roaming, and then find your Nectar folder. And in this case, P1, Settings, and it's this file here that you need to edit. So you can just open it with a text viewer. So you could right click, oh, or double click in this case to open it. I've already pre-assigned it, but if you right click, you'd open with and you'd select notepad. So what you'll see is if we scroll to the end here, you'll see our export audio full is there. And what you need to do, I mean, obviously check the Nectar website for this information. Um, but where it says begin macro, you need to select that and everything in between and the two end and that and delete that. Um, when you reboot, that one will be will be gone. So a little bit complicated, but you can see here I've got numerous different ones. So begin macro, I've got my chord pads there. And like I say, if I go down to end end, you can see there it says begin macro again. And I've got deleted selected tracks. So you would delete everything from begin macro to end and end. Click delete, save that uh, text document once you've deleted it. So file save and it'll overwrite your existing one reboot and then that will be deleted so a little bit long-winded but it works so i hope you found this useful and don't forget i am going to be doing more tutorials on the nectar p1 so until next time bye bye check that body get, get, get down.